Hello, I'm Mayor Felgood with your weekly update. This weekend, our Engineering and Public Works Department worked with vendor partner IXOM to install water circulator machines at Watson Lake. The purpose of these solar-powered aerators is to help address the pollution concerns identified by the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality, also known as ADEQ, and the Environmental Protection Agency, referred to as the EPA. These aerators help to increase the dissolved oxygen in the lake and reduce the harmful algae blooms in the summertime. Aeration is one of several tools that have been identified by ADEQ and the city to help improve water quality for the benefit of recreation, aesthetics, and wildlife. It should result in better and safer experiences for anglers, paddlers, and all who visit the lake. The solar power devices were recommended after extensive research into all reasonable alternatives. They represented the most cost-effective option while also having fewer ongoing maintenance needs. I, along with the rest of the council, approved the contract for their purchase and installation in November of 2023. The aerators operate under the water by circulating the lake water up to 10,000 gallons per minute. On the surface, the main feature that will be seen are the solar panels which power the machinery. As our environmental coordinator, Matthew Colleen, explained, Watson Lake represents one of the crown jewels of Prescott. These machines will help polish them up considerably by improving the clarity of the water and will benefit all who visit or rely on these waters. Look for outreach materials at the lake's docks to learn more about the purpose and function of the aerators. Later this week, the city will be conducting a two-day prescribed burn of small slash piles in the Mission Hills area between Wednesday and Friday, February 28th through March 1st. The city-owned property lies between Douglas Avenue and Pulliam Drive just east of Willow Creek Road. The city's forestry crew has been removing overgrown vegetation from the site recently in an effort to protect critical infrastructure, which includes water tanks, cell phone towers, and public safety radio communication towers from wildfire risks. These improvements also help protect homes in the area by reducing the vegetation that could act as fuel load in the case of a wildfire. Personnel will burn small slash piles, which they were unable to remove safely due to the steep terrain and limited access. Control lines have already been established and hose lines will be placed in support of the pile burn through completion. Personnel will be on site throughout the operation as well as conducting overnight monitoring. Smoke may be visible from any locations in Prescott and drivers on Willow Creek Road should drive with caution. The actual timing of the burns will be dependent on weather and other factors. Service on the city's boards, commissions, and committees gives our citizens an opportunity to take an active role in their local government. I appoint the members following a review of applications by the Council Subcommittee on Appointments. We are seeking applications for the Industrial Development Authority and the Building and Advisory and Appeals Board. Applications are due Friday, March 22nd at 5 p.m. Additionally, the Mayor's Veterans Commission for the City of Prescott is currently accepting letters of interest from veterans who would like to serve on the Commission. Please include the following in your letter. Describe your interest in joining the Commission, background and other qualifications, you must be a veteran of a branch of the U.S. military, contributions you can make as a member. The due date for submission is 5 p.m. on Friday, March 15, 2024. We do not have an executive session scheduled this week. During the 1 p.m. study session, we'll have a presentation regarding the overview of the city's communications, economic development, and tourism office. We will also receive a mid-year budget report for fiscal year 2024. During our voting meeting at 3 p.m., we will discuss additional study information and possibly the operation of a temporary traffic signal at the Gale Garner 
Way and Fair Street intersection. This study will allow us to make a decision on whether or not to accept a Federal Highway Safety Improvement Grant for $1,040,050 to install a new permanent traffic signal. We will also be considering approval of the 2024 City Water Management Policy. As for meetings this week, there is a General Plan Review Committee on Wednesday at 2 p.m. here in Council Chambers. On Thursday, we'll have a Planning and Zoning Commission meeting at 9 a.m., also in Council Chambers, and next Monday, the Charter Review Commission will meet at 3 p.m. in the Executive Conference Room here at City Hall. Don't forget, the City of Prescott is hosting its annual Household Hazardous Waste event starting March 4th through March 29th. This is an exclusive event for City of Prescott residential trash customers. We have contracted with a hazardous waste team to come to your home to pick up your hazardous items. Pre-registration is required. Be sure to get registered online for your specialty pickup. The link is below. I'm Mayor Phil Good, and I'll update you again next week. Thanks for watching.